the streets of Willow and we were doing show car shootout. Well, it's cold, the wind could be better, but goals for today are just try to go faster, keep having fun, keep the car on track. Now the fourth competition I've done with uh, Super Street and Euro Tuner and all of them, so it's always a good time. I just wanted to have fun, maybe set a decent lap time, and uh, hope that the car sticks together. There's a break. <laughs> Started life out as a as a 135. We call it the 1M clone. It's quite a, quite a beast. From there, we realized we really wanted to do something uh, special, and the owner uh, Marco, he's really put uh, put a lot of energy into it, and it's now got a uh, an S65, the uh, the M3, the uh, E92. We're in a 2006 Honda S2000. It's probably tracked about once a year. This year we put a K24 in, first time on the track. It's supercharged. It's got custom wheels that we make, um, and then coilovers, Voltex Aero. Pretty fast competition here. Luckily, uh, I know most of them, so it's a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of the guys I'm out there competing with are really good dudes, very fast, and some seriously fast cars. There's a, I mean, an R32 GTR, which is really cool, uh, supercharged S2000, you know, some really, really quick cars, a K Series S2000, some serious machinery out there, and uh, hopefully I can edge out in front. <laughs> We finished the car at 6 in the morning today. Right now, we have to lower the boost because we have overboost problems, about 420 horsepower. Engine's fully built, upgraded turbos. It should be over 500. All I did before was car show. It's actually my, my first time tracking my car, and it feels it's pretty good. I drive an Evo 10 Lancer, full of Barris with a charged suspender, white body. T37V Mark II, right with Continental tires, 265-40s. Really competitive. I see the time, it's crazy. I see the 120, 130. My car is not the most competitive car track-wise. Uh, they did some turbo upgrades. They did a Tomy turbo upgrade, Tomy exhaust, downpipe, body club coilovers, Volk Racing T37s, and the Voltex one. Competition stiff. We have a mirror out there. We have a couple other good drivers, and there's a lot of fast cars. We could use a little bit of work in the brakes, but that's about it. It's a lot of fun here it's to be part of this event. In the car show, you just have to park, but over here, you just have to drive it, you know, and push the limit. I just want to have fun. We do at least one track day a month, so just here to take a day off work. I brought my 2010 Nissan 370Z. It's a natural aspirated, so not too much horsepower. I think I mod the car more than I actually drive it on the track. It has potential, but I'm definitely holding the car back. This time around, the tire's a lot better. I really I think car is handling a lot better, than, but I still have a lot to learn. Today we are running the Continental Extreme Contact Sports. You know, a few years ago we ran DWs and uh, these things are a little quicker, you know. A lot of lateral grip, uh, very surprising. They feel really nice. They're a 340 treadwear, but they grip a lot more like a 200 treadwear. I came in maybe expecting to have to fight the braking and mid-corner uh, grip, but overall the braking is actually really, really good. It's way better than the DW. They've made huge improvements on that tire, and the overall cornering grip is excellent. The car really sticks. Uh, it's, it blows my mind that these are a 340 treadwear. It's really impressive. <laughs> size I'm running is a 265 4018. For the treadwear, it's an amazing tire. You know, it's very competitive and you know, it's like a couple seconds off of a R compound tire. So, bang for buck in my opinion. It's been quite
quite a revelation because the uh, the old DW was was definitely struggled on uh, on track. This tire is now it's it's right in the realm. It's it's quite a quite a solid tire. Uh, you know we're gonna we're gonna head out for one more session uh, as the track cools down. Hope for um, yeah hope to get into the 22s, which would be uh, which would be pretty awesome. the World Motorsport Wind Tunnel Dyno. We're gonna see what kind of power these cars make. Everything from this S2000 to a GTR to a 370Z. I'd like to thank all the competitors for coming out. Everyone had a blast. Love to thank Continental Tire for letting us use their new Extreme Contact Sport Tire. And if you want to see results, go check out Super Street online or see a future issue of the magazine. So with this car, I focused more on like the aesthetics of it. Uh, got a lot of the parts I wanted to, while still keeping it daily drivable and somewhat quick on a racetrack. However, you can still have a show car and run competitive lap times and look cool, which is way more important than going fast. But we've done Week Fest San Jose, Street Neos, we've been to the IBOC meet, and uh, Joey Lee's The Chronicles year eight meet. So I've gotten to quite a few shows, quite a few meets. I've been in the Koya Rad booth and the Nemo's Garage booth at pretty much all those events. So thanks to those guys for having me out there. We've done quite a few different uh, on-track things as well as off-track. Uh, you know, second place in Shell at uh, Monterey Car Week, and quite a few, quite a few awesome little events. It's a little windy and it's a little, uh, a little chilly, so we were we were hoping for a little bit quicker. But yeah, NSX, which is which is wicked fast, uh, that we've been that we've been uh, going back and forth with. So definitely, uh, definitely great competition. Currently, I'm in the lead. So yeah. I think it's the fastest time, of the day and fast time of the event so far, so hopefully it stays that way. I'm gonna go for one more session, see if I can go a little bit faster, and after that just hang out. I'm at 124.6. Competition's good, you know. Uh, on track, I'm doing a little bit better than I thought, considering the car's first time out. So we made a few adjustments to the suspension, and uh, I think we have one more session, and we're gonna try to get a few more tents off that. Hanging in there with like the NSXs and GTRs, a couple seconds off. So hopefully we can shave a little more time as the day goes on. I'm looking forward to doing this as many years as I can. I mean, hopefully bring out more cars and do FF Battle, Show Car Shootout, and whatever else you guys might have. Done FF Battle. FR Shootout, uh, Tuner GP, and now Show Car Shootout. So I hope to do more of them. Um, I'm hoping to come next year. My cars actually, we're kind of we're kind of done with what we wanted to do with the stock NSX. So now we're going to go pretty radical with it and change up quite a few things. Still keep it a street car, but kind of I guess the maximum you can go with the street car. So I'd like to come back next year with the same car, but with a whole new list of modifications. I mean, I love this event. It's you know always one of the highlights of the year to come to the Super Street Shootout. So hopefully next year I'll have a monster car. I'll be able to win it. <laughs>